which of the following additive manufacturing techniques can use a wire as a feedstock material? Let's look at the solution. In the stereolithography technique, polymer is used in the liquid form and the ultraviolet radiation is made incident on the polymer. Due to this, layer by layer deposition occurs. Hence, wire feed is not used in the case of stereolithography. In the case of fused deposition modeling, which is FDM technique, strong engineering grade materials like ABS, PC, PLA, etc. are used as a wire feed. FDM technique creates the components with outstanding thermal and chemical resistance. The components made from FDM process possess excellent strength to weight ratio. In the case of selective laser sintering technique, laser is used as a power source to sinter the powdered material, aiming the coordinates in space defined by the three-dimensional design. Selective laser sintering technique does not need a wire feed because the parts being constructed is surrounded by the unsintered powder throughout the process. Lastly, in direct energy deposition technique, the components are formed by melting the materials as it is by using thermal energy sources such as laser beam or electron beam or plasma arc. Hence, no wire feedstock material is needed to carry out the process. From the four given options, the only process which uses the wire as a feedstock material is fused deposition modeling which is option B.